So I'm gonna quickly show you exactly what I've got in the bag. So this one is such a good value for money, right? Yeah. yeah. It's really small. Oh, it's so easy. Yeah. And this is my Chanel one more on change. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Hey guys, so today I'm going to be getting ready with you guys. I do have my work Christmas party tonight at the Crown Casino here in Sydney. We're going to a sushi at Nobu, which I'm really excited about because I haven't been. Um, again, excuse my bad face whenever I do these vlogs. I always feel so bad without the makeup, but I already got dressed because I literally have 40 minutes to get ready. Um, and then after the Christmas party, I also am going to my best friend's birthday party so I have a very busy schedule ahead and I did have to work this morning so if you guys don't know I'm a dentist and um, you know Saturdays can be quite busy so I literally rushed home and had a shower and I've just got this table where I put brought all my makeup stuff with me in my niece BB I feel like you know watching get ready meet with me videos with no discussion topic could be a bit boring. Um, by the way, I'm starting with my sunscreen. So I thought might be fun to talk about how I got started on social media and why I started YouTube. And you know, maybe if you guys are thinking about you know starting a YouTube channel, maybe that could be helpful, or it might just be interesting to some of you. By the way, I've been getting so many breakouts on my chin because. I have been eating a lot of junk food because whenever I'm tired, I just eat junk food. But I cut down on the junk food consumption, so they are in the process of uh, settling down. I might need to use some concealer for that. So the sunscreen is on. For foundation, you guys know that I've been mixing BB cream and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk because I feel like just straight foundation is a bit too much but just BB cream is not enough coverage for going out. On a daily basis I'm happy to just wear BB cream but you know I'm doing full makeup today so I've had my YouTube channel for about three and a half years now oh my goodness time flies I just feel like I started it the other day by the way this is my favorite foundation brush I'll leave everything linked below if you're interested in any of the items that I use. So this is a MAC 170 and it's really, really great for applying foundation. Before I started my YouTube, I actually had a fashion like luxury items Instagram account. So that started earlier and a couple of my posts did well and I think I reached something like 20,000 followers within, you know, a year or year and a half. So, you know, I was documenting what I liked and all of that on Instagram, but I'm much more of a talker than writer. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, you know, give YouTube a go. And also there were certain bags and items that I could just not find reviews on. And before I make a decision on buying a designer bag and sh or shoes or whatnot, I like to look for reviews on YouTube. So I thought, you know what? I should actually just make the review videos for people who might be considering the same sort of items. So initially it was just a very casual thing and then I just dab it in. Um, yeah, so I started as a casual thing, as a side hobby and I really enjoyed it. So initially the growth on my channel, and I didn't really do it for the growth, but the growth on my channel was really, really quite slow. I think it took me about two months to hit a thousand subscribers and there were just two big growth spurts on my YouTube channel. So often I find YouTube channels, you know, don't grow very like consistently, but you have these growth spurts. You have a video or two just pop. I don't even know. The algorithm just sometimes, you know, pushes these videos out. And when that happens, your channel grows so much. I've experienced it twice. So soon after I hit a thousand subscribers, I released a video called Five Key Items. I still remember these two videos that popped on my channel that really contributed to, I'd say half the growth of my channel. Next, I actually go in with my eyebrows. So I'll continue after I draw my eyebrows because these I have to concentrate with. 
By the way, I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade 4. I do find this one quite easy to use. Okay, so I've got my eyebrows on. But for going out, I like to do a bit extra with my brows and also go with the brow mascara. And I also use the Gimme Brow from Benefit as well. I just love Benefit brow products. They work really, really well. So anyway, so the first video that completely popped out of the blue was called the five key, five, five key, key five luxury items to start your collection with. And when I watch it back now, it's like not a very well made video, but I guess I was still a beginner and I believe I published that within a few months of starting my channel and that video completely popped. So that video took my channel from about thousand or something subscribers and it just took it all the way to, I can't remember, close to 4,000 subscribers and that was the biggest quickest growth I've ever experienced. So I remember refreshing my YouTube studio and just keep seeing the numbers grow. And I was like, what? This is crazy. So that was the first growth spurt. And that, that happened, I believe around October of 2018. So that kind of gave me extra motivation to keep going with YouTube and actually put a bit more effort into my YouTube channel. And then after that, it kind of, you know, started growing a little faster. And then what happened was in November of that year, I published a video called 10 ways to look classy. I just felt like doing that video because I thought, you know what, I want to talk about the basics on, you know, how I feel, what I feel makes, you know, someone look really, really classy. And that topic isn't even that related to luxury. It kind of is. Um, yes, yeah, so I published that video and that video didn't do well at all initially because obviously it wasn't really completely within my niche. So it did okay. It, you know, started to get views, but nothing out of the ordinary. I think at the time I was, I was happy if I was getting like two, 3000 views the first day I published and I didn't think much of it. And then that next January, I started noticing the subscriber count grow really fast for no reason and I looked at all the recent videos and nothing was really popping but then I real I noticed that the video that was published two months before in November of 2018 was just getting a lot of views and to this day that video has the most amount of views on my channel so that video right now has almost 900,000 views and from that one video I went from 10,000 subscribers to 40,000 subscribers within the matter of a couple of months, I believe it was. But all good things come to an end and you know, it didn't last forever. It just got a lot of views and subscribers for a couple of months. And then it started to all slow down. But um, then the steady growth I think happened from all my sort of review videos of um, designer bags. So those two um, pop videos just kind of happened and I don't think you can plan for that to happen. I was just very, very lucky that that happened. But all the rest of the steady growth happened from, I'd say, you know, I was being pretty strategic. So I did uh, review videos of bags that didn't have that many review videos on YouTube so that when someone searches for that, my video would pop up. So I noticed that, you know, there were heaps of reviews at the time of, you know, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull Speedy, Chanel Classic Flaps and all of that, but there were not many videos on other still quite popular bags like the Louis Vuitton Neo Noé and the Chanel Coco Handle. So those few bags that I had and really liked and enjoyed that didn't have a lot of um, videos on, I think that was just a pretty smart decision on my part. I started really doing those reviews. Um, and yeah, my channel started to grow quite consistently from that. Um, by the way, I'm using eyeshadows from my um, NARS palette. This is from a couple of Christmases ago. Um, and it just got all of, you know, the bronzy colors, eyeshadows, and also a highlighter and the bronzer, but I only pretty much only use the eyeshadows. So I'm just going in with that light champagne color, this one here for the 
front. Um, yes, yeah, so I guess whatever niche you're starting your YouTube channel in, um, I still believe that strategy would work for you. So, um, you know, look for search terms that are often searched that don't have a lot of review videos by bigger channels or older channels and you should you know it's a consistent growth it's you know um, slow and steady but you will definitely see the growth from that so uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys who watch my videos are into luxury and if it is something that you've been thinking about to start a luxury YouTube channel then um, yeah I'd recommend if you have bags that you know you see other people haven't really reviewed um yeah that that is um a good strategy and then i'm just going in with the darkest shade on yeah and then i'm just winging my eyeline out with this first before i go in with the eyeliner by the way my makeup look is really really simple i don't do anything um that amazing because obviously i'm not a makeup guru um, yes so um, the keyword thing I think was um, a good decision on my part and then I just blend everything out yeah my makeup is very basic and then ever since I kept doing review videos I think once your channel is at a certain size that you know kind of um, starts growing a little easier so that's what I did so I just went really consistent with upload schedule at least once a week I've got um, eyelash extensions at the moment so um, I just do the little wing bit with the eyeliner and that's pretty much the eye makeup done so my eyes are done yeah so then yeah I started posting videos related to luxury and fashion at least once a week and there were periods where I had a bit more time that I was doing twice a week as well and twice a week I definitely saw more growth from and then I'm just going to go in with my translucent powder from NARS and that's going to mattify all of my makeup and I'm just using number two hourglass brush my absolute favorite as well my skin can be a bit dry so I don't go overboard with the powdering at the end and then I just need to put some blush on and lipstick and my makeup look is pretty much done I might actually go with a bit of highlighter as well because I am going out today the other big reason I kind of started YouTube is because um, my day job is quite serious and um, I did talk about this um, in a separate video that my career decision was more the responsible decision and I'm still proud of um, my achievements but I am more inclined creatively I think and then I'm just gonna pop some highlighter on so after working in dentistry for about seven years at the time I think it was six seven years I started feeling a little bit like mm, like I do enjoy doing what I do but I just want to oh timer but I do want to do something that I'm passionate about and yeah creating videos and all of that gave me that little creative outlet so I am so thankful for that so that's pretty much why I started my YouTube channel and how it grew hopefully that helps some of you considering starting a YouTube channel get an insight into how a channel grows and I mean obviously I'm not like the biggest channel or anything there are heaps of better and more amazing channels out there but I feel like as an everyday average person my growth on YouTube and how I started on YouTube could be quite relatable for a lot of people so I just wanted to talk about that really really casually didn't want to make like a whole dedicated video on it or anything that's why I'm doing it casually in this chit chat get ready with me video now I am gonna dry my hair and I'm just gonna straighten it because my hair is not very long at the moment as you guys know it's kind of just below the shoulders um, so I find that length a little funny when you curl it so I'm just gonna straighten it so I'm not gonna show you that because it's pretty straightforward but I wanted to show you the bag that I'm gonna be carrying for the first time today you guys saw my latest unboxing um, of this evening bag which is the Gucci super mini Dionysus in this beautiful gold and I am really excited so once I pack this up I'll show you what I've got in there and I'm also going to show you my full outfit. So I will be right back. 
Guys, I'm just waiting for my hair straightener to heat up, but I just wanted to show you the Christmas packaging for Louis Vuitton. So I picked up my best friend's present for her birthday. I got her the um, Sable, the black roses one that's meant to be really long lasting. I have one as well, and it's my absolute favorite. Um, so yes, this is the packaging with the red ribbon that says Louis Vuitton. And the gift wrap paper is, you know, just white with um, Louis Vuitton in gold. And they also engraved the bottle, so it says her initials on the bottle. So I'm so excited. I know she's been looking for this, but kind of didn't really splurge on it because it, it's a very expensive bottle of perfume to splurge on yourself. So I thought, you know what, I'll get it for her because, you know, it's one of those things that you don't just splurge on for yourself. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. Oh, I just realized I completely forgot about lipstick. So I have two options because I'm going to be carrying my Gucci super minimum one. I just cannot have a fat lipstick in there because it will just eat up way too much space. So I'm going to go with one of these. So these are the pencil lip sticks from NARS. One is the more nudey pearly shade called Ricugian. It's a satin lip pencil and the other one is a matte um, red. I guess it's Christmas So maybe I will go for the red one. But anyway, I'm gonna have a think about it while I'm doing my hair I'll be back. Alright guys, I decided to go with the red lips and straightened my hair So I'm gonna quickly show you exactly what I've got in the bag so you can see how much fits in it So I'm still so stunned by how beautiful this bag is. It's not bad. So I've got my car key, a small eyebrow pencil. I'm okay with everything else, but when my eyebrows rubs off, I just look really, really hideous. So I've got that. And then I've got a mini hand cream from L'Occitane. And I've got two of those lip pencils. So throughout the night, if I change my mind and I wanna go subtle and nude lips, I can do that. And of course, I'm wearing new shoes today, which I'll show you my full outfit in a minute. Um, I've got two band-aids just in case my, you know, new shoes give me blisters throughout the night. And then I've got my iPhone Pro 12. All of that fit in this tiny little bag. And if you ask me, that is more than sufficient for an evening bag. So I'm probably going to hold my phone, but it's just nice to know that the option is there for me to be able to fit the phone in there. So that is what's in the bag. And before I head out, I'm gonna quickly show you my whole outfit. All right guys, so this is my outfit. So I've got my trusty March dress that I always go back to if I'm not sure what to wear for an occasion. I mean, it's a Christmas dinner, but it's not like a black tie event. So I didn't want to go too much. So that is my navy dress that I just love that I got last year. I was going to wear my new March sequin dress, which is sleeveless, but it's kind of chilly here in Sydney. It's meant to be summer, but it's still chilly. So I wanted to go for like longer sleeves. I I think this March dress must be a classic style that they do because I see them still make these and I bought this last year and I see them in different colors as well. So if you're looking for a really nice, easily dressed up or down dress, I mean, I really recommend this. And navy is such a good neutral that's not black. And of course, look how beautiful my new Gucci Dinosaurs bag looks with my navy simple dress. And on my feet, of course, I had to wear my new Amina Muadi. So if you guys watch my latest luxury haul video, you would have seen both the bag and the shoes. So yeah, I am keeping everything else simple. So I'm just wearing my usual jewelry stack. But I thought about wearing my dangly Chanel earrings, but I thought, you know, I've got the red lips, the bling bling shoes and the bag all going. So I didn't want too much everywhere. So I'm just, you know, wearing my usual diamond studs from Heart and Fire, my Cartier tiny little diamond necklace. So yes, that is the overall look of the day. I'm gonna get the Uber into the city. So if I get some footages at this beautiful restaurant and at my friend's birthday party, I might actually vlog a little bit. So this might become a little tiny vlogmas video. I will see you soon.
ready today, so maybe I should. I should. This is the pregnant lady. So. <laughs> Brenda's like, is this going on YouTube? <laughs> What's this one? Um, get the exos taken and then I can I have a walking face! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Tuna, salmon. <laughs> <laughs> On our second drinks. Fish? I don't know. Some sort of fish. It's quite Are you ready? I'm filming now. Are you all good? Um, yeah. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Are you good? Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah, nah, okay. Do I have to, to look at like that? Yeah, there. Okay. So guys, I'm at our work Christmas dinner and I've just noticed a few of our girls have the beautiful bags. So I'm gonna give you a little bag to her. This is Evie. And I'm gonna show you her bag first. Okay, Evie, tell us all about this bag. Well, I've got this <laughs> So if you guys watch my previous come to work with me video, yeah. Evie has the Chanel rectangular. Do you still have that? Yes. Okay. So Evie has that Chanel rectangular mini bag. So this one is such a good value for money, right? Yes. It's really small. Look how easy. <laughs> you can fit a lot of so stuff. So much. Yeah. So can we have a look inside? Yeah, sure. What's in my bag? What's in my, okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around. So there you go, you can fit so So much. spacious, you can even fit, fit a compact. Yep. And yeah. how much was this? A thousand a hundred. It's so good. I know, right? Yes. There you go, there's so much stuff in there. What else do you have? Can I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have a compact. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's this? Um, Is it Esther Loader? Yeah, Esther Okay. What's this one? I'm Korean something. <laughs> yeah, so Evie is my Korean sister because she loves I've Korean MAC lipstick. I've got, of course, my favorite lip tint. <laughs> oh, is this your favorite? Yeah. What's so good about it? Uh, it's pig, like super pigmented. Is this? Oh, it's at did. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, it's Korean brand. And it's another Korean. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's Korean. Ooh. And yeah. Innisfree, yeah. Yeah. There's a big Innisfree in Sydney. I know. In the yeah, yeah. And I've got my car. Oh, uh, Evie has the cutest little car, little Audi. And I've got my card holder. Oh, I love this. Is. This is so cute. Yeah, I've got my card holder in there. Yeah, what your boyfriend got it for you last Christmas. Yes. And this I've so just cute. got my brush. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do the toucher. Yeah. Like, see it. how much it fits. It's so good. Yeah. It's so special. And look at this. Such a pretty chain. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to move to Mai because she's got... <laughs> the... Um... <laughs> oh, you've got Valentino's. I want to show you your face. She's got the Valentino's. She's... Oh my gosh. Evie, you can do it. <laughs> And this is my Chanel one lot on chain. She got it before the crazy price increase this year. This was much better price last year, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. It was actually still okay. Four thousand something. Okay. Evie, do the honors. You do the honors. Your face isn't in it. Yeah. Okay. That's good. <laughs> is it spacious? Oh, because mine's very petite like yeah. us. She doubled up the chain to make it shorter. Oh, what's in my bag? My card? <laughs> oh, don't show that. <laughs> okay, we're going to... Yeah, her cards. Yep. Mine's just like my card. I'm like, your address is on it. And then a mask, that's it. Yep. So cute lipstick. Ooh. Thank you, Mai. <laughs> okay, we moved on to Dr. Rachel's bag now. Okay. <laughs> so this is Dr. Rachel's philanthropy. <laughs> How old is it? You know, it's a few years old. I love the croc embossed. Flap. It's got gold hard. It's very Someone heavy. What's in it? <laughs> your face. Oh, <laughs> where are you going after the party? Just in case. Just in case you need to walk. <laughs> it's so cute. We won't look inside because it's very full. It's got a lot. It's got a back pocket. It's got a lot of junk in it. It looks very practical, but it's 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 like you should do arm workout with this. <laughs> yeah. Do you have comfortable Hi. shoes in there? So oh my gosh, I can't hold it anymore. How cute. Okay, so that marks the end of our bag tour. <laughs>
guys, I finished up at the work dinner. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, back tour. I'm heading to my bestie's birthday party now, so I'll try and vlog a little bit there. So this is my person best friend's birthday. It's not a wedding, it's a birthday. completely forgot to film an outro so here is a little preview of what is in store for our next vlogmas episode which i will upload hopefully by this friday so thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next video bye guys oh my gosh i love this i love this uncle yeah i've never seen this before it's from jimmy choo